I'd like to take this opportunity as well to thank all of the Arriva Northern teams, the CAF and Evershaw teams for the tremendous amount of efforts that have uh, got us to this point today. For our customers, these brand new trains will transform our travelling experience, giving our customers the quality that they deserve. Today demonstrates our ongoing commitment to delivering a transformational rail plan, providing faster, more reliable and modern train journeys for our customers. And I think it's important to stress that it's been a tough year, two years for lots of passengers in the north. This is about rebuilding trust. A new train is only as good as a punctual, reliable train. Look forward to these coming into service. Enjoy the rest of your time. Thank you. The great railway traditions that we like to follow at Northern, which is to uh, name trains. And we've named trains after famous landmarks and uh, famous places. Uh, and we're thinking about what to name this train and our vision internally is proud to be Northern and actually it's been a tough year as everybody knows in the last 12 months but I think with this train arriving today I'd like to Mike invite Amanda and David to go over to the train um, and to unveil the name please. A little while ago the British government declared in this country that some of the rolling stock was not really fit for purpose. Mainly referring to the pace of train. Now when Arriva took over Northern Rail they were sort of strongly obliged to do something about it. The train operator holding two special events to mark the induction of the first trains. Part of a £500 million investment with 101 strong fleet of trains. These trains, the Class 195 and the electric version of 331, will make a step change for travel rail in the north. Giving customers great comfort, more space and enhanced technology like plug sockets and every seat, customer Wi-Fi and a live feed information on the screens. and this train, this preview trip today is just the start. We'll introduce them into service from Monday and then over the course of the rest of this year, the new trains will be introduced into towns and cities right across the north, uh, from Nottingham in the south, um, Blackpool in the west, across to York, uh, across to Sheffield. Uh, many, many people will get to experience a fantastic product that you're about to travel on for the first time today. The 195 diesel train has a Rolls-Royce engine that makes of electric power to turn the motors on the wheel sets. This type of train system is called a diesel multiple unit or a DMU. The engines also have a catalytic reduction system that reduces the amount of nitrogen oxide producing, making them cleaner and more efficient. The class 195, a diesel multiple unit built for Northern by the Spanish stock manufacturer CAF, C-A-F. C-A-F means construction and other railway services, basically. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce my Spanish. Now, 58 diesel trains were started to build in July 2017. 25 two-car sets, 33 are three-car sets. Extra carriages can be fitted to these sets if they want to make the trains longer. Now, for enthusiasts, if the train number is 195001 to 25, then these are the two-car sets. 101 to 133 is your three-car set. Customers are requested to remain vigilant. If you see anything suspicious, please report it to a member of staff or the British Transport Police via text on 61016. We'll sort it. See it, see it, sort it.
next 500 million pound investment. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of which we're going on today. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and that's what it's, what it's all about. Yeah, isn't it? It's what the customers are going to do. It did. Definitely. Moving forward, these are obviously going to be electric sets as well. Uh, you've got the event on Friday. Yes. Uh, launching with the, the 331s, uh, doing the services across there. Uh, really, you know, I'm actually very, very impressed how smart, how clean, and how quiet these are. Very quiet, nice, smooth ride. Very, very spacious, as you can see. And that's, uh, you know, customers will, will see that difference. Every seat's got a, a table, you've got power sockets at each, each location. It's, it's a warm day outside. Yeah. It's, it's good quality air conditioning. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and you can see the things like, um, the seat ventilation systems will be switched on at some point in the future, so um, customer information screens as well, you can see that they're working, it's a step change in travel for customers across the world. And this is all part of Northern Connect? It will be part of Northern Connect, of course, yeah, so um, that's something that we're developing in terms of the concept, which we hope to be announced, uh, announce more detail later in the year about what routes um, Northern Connect services are going to serve. Yeah, yeah. all exciting things. Absolutely. Glad to meet you. So Northern Connect is a way to group specific routes which connect passengers on longer journeys in the Northern Network, providing fast, comfortable, inter-urban network connecting all the cities and towns with a population of 85,000. 12 new and upgraded services with over 90% operated with new trains at 36 Connect stations. And that's what these new CAF trains are all about. We know that there was a delay in delivering them on time, but not Northern's fault. But here we are today with proof that these sets are ready to join the Northern Rail family officially. One thing we can be certain about is the introduction of the newly furbished trains this that are slowly bringing the curtain down on these paces. But for as much as we celebrate the future services of the new Spanish stock, let's not forget the service of these Leyland British buses. A journey in rail travel here in the north, but it's a new chapter for the humble pacer. One reason why we don't want them, unlike the newly furbished stock, the toilets on the paces are not friendly for people with reduced mobility. According to the EU and Westminster, this is a big no-no. It was rumoured that an operator was going to buy them, polish them up and give them a lick of paint, permanently block off the toilet door, thus avoiding the said issue. I know use them for short journeys, but sadly this isn't the case. As we've all rolling stock in the country, we have a habit of just scrapping stuff if we don't like it anymore and it's the same for these paces. Apart from 142001, the first one, that will be preserved by the National Railway Museum in York. One or two may appear at the bottom of Farmer's Field Mine and taken over by brambles and nettles, but some have made suggestions that they're going to reuse them as public spaces, maybe for village halls or cafes. So either way, the pacer has now hit the red line. So to think that within a few years, next time that you're sat on a pacer, you might eventually get dining service and some peace. Let's just hope the Spanish trains will survive the next 30 years.